Well, officially for the state, the high will be close to 60 degrees. We start off that way near midnight, but temperatures fell to the 40s, and that's where we spent much of the day. So the afternoon temperatures, some of the coldest we've seen during the afternoon, going all the way back to May in about six months. Clearing and turning cold tonight, we're going to see some lows get down to the low 30s in the outlying areas. Could even see a few upper 20s well west and northwest of the city. An active pattern shaping up for us next week. Several rounds of rain coming. Looks like the heaviest rain coming later in the week, though. And then warming up through Thursday. High temperatures back into the 70s, it looks like, by the middle or end of the week. Real-time clouds and radar shows the tail end of the system that brought us the rain today, moving on off towards the east. So behind this, we've got dry air working in with this northwest breeze. We'll see the skies begin to clear out as high pressure builds in later on tonight, at least clear out partially before another system. Now over Montana races eastward. You see the snow and rain spreading out ahead of that, moving towards Omaha. That arrives here, it looks like, late during the day tomorrow. This is what I mean by a more active pattern. This is our real-time satellite radar tracker. So we've got the one round of rain moving on through tonight, another one coming late tomorrow into tomorrow night actually hitting this GFS model some snow north and west of the city, but I think for most of us it's just going to be a cold or at least a cool rain tomorrow afternoon. And then that moves on through and then later Tuesday towards Tuesday night, another round of rain comes in, staying mainly in the form of the snow up to the north. That could start to add up across areas well north and northwest of us. And then Wednesday, another round of rain coming in. It looks like later in the day, Wednesday on into at least early Thursday and more snow fly across parts of Minnesota and into the north woods of Wisconsin. So if you add up all the snow fall over the next couple of days, nothing really expected here, but the snow could lay down maybe up to a half inch in Green Bay, but up to nearly four inches near the Twin Cities and back over towards Fargo. Lows tonight, they're going to get down again to the low 30s. A few upper 20s possible well west of the city. In the city itself, closer to 40 degrees. And tomorrow's high temperatures, we're looking for highs tomorrow, getting into the upper 40s to low 50s. So average highest time of the year, low 60s. We're going to be about 10 degrees or more cooler than average, maybe 50 degrees for the high tomorrow at O'Hare. Adding up all the rain that could be coming on off during the week. Our first round could bring us maybe a quarter of an inch to a half inch of rain later tomorrow. Then we got another round coming Wednesday, another one Thursday. Adding it all up through the end of the week, we could be looking at some significant rainfall rain around here through Friday, maybe up to an inch and a half to nearly two inches of rain in total. Your forecast for tonight, clearing out at least a bit, becoming partly cloudy, a low down to around 34 on average. Tomorrow, some peaks of sun early, then clouding over with some showers developing late, a high tomorrow near 50 degrees. So still cool tomorrow. Your seven day forecast, we've got a warm up coming, a big warm up next week, 53 on Tuesday. Again, some showers towards Tuesday night. Wednesday, we're looking for a high of 60 degrees, 70s on Thursday. Another round of rain Thursday, could even get a few rumbles of thunder Thursday night and during the day on Friday. But the good news is we are warmer for the end of the week, near 70 on Friday, turning cooler again for next weekend. Not quite as cool as what we saw today, but highs in the low to mid 50s Saturday and Sunday. I'm meteorologist Tim McGill.